welcome to Sicily. This is Catania. Today we flew from Malta to Sicily. As soon as we arrived, we were corralled into the COVID testing area. Everyone entering Sicily from these countries had to take a COVID test. Four COVID tests in four days. Are you serious, dude? We've noticed that the need to COVID test has actually increased as we've traveled throughout Europe. We are negativo. Got a rental car again. We did rent a car in Sicily because there isn't a large public transportation system. However, driving in Sicily can be very stressful because the cars don't seem to follow the same road rules as they do in the US. Sicily is a large island on the southern tip of Italy. So the first thing we did when we got there was drive straight to the coast. On the coast of Catania, we came across a beautiful castle and went to take a closer look. We're going to that castle. We climbed up the castle and took in the beautiful views along the way. The next morning, we took a quick dip in the cold Ionian Sea. I don't know, it's very cold. It's not cold for me. <laughs> Even though the water looked inviting, it was a little too cold for our liking. So it was pool time. For lunch, we had some local Italian food. Mom's eating octopus salad. And look at my food. Manja, baby. After lunch, we went to downtown Catania. Downtown had a beautiful town center and city square. And very loud jackhammers. But despite the construction, it really was a beautiful and historic area. While we were downtown, we also took care of our laundry and then headed back to our hotel. Did we mention? Driving is crazy here. This is what they call merging. Notice that not a single car is actually driving in a lane? We checked out of the hotel this morning and we're at Syracuse. We stopped in Syracuse to see this old Greek theater, originally built in the 5th century BC. Greeks had a large community in Syracuse for about 500 years before being conquered by the Romans. The island was actually taken over several more times after that, including by the Arabs, French, Spanish, Austrian, and British, before finally becoming an Italian territory. For lunch, we stopped for some local street food, and boy, was it good. They had a large variety of fresh meats that you could either have grilled there or take home. We just bought a little bit of food for lunch. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. After lunch, we took a four-hour drive across the island. We were in Sicily for three more days and wanted to see what else Sicily had to offer. What was interesting though was we couldn't find any of the brand hotels we normally stay in. We decided to venture toward the airport and figured we could get a hotel near there. However, when we got there, there were very few hotels to choose from. We walked into a couple hotels we saw and one was closed for the season and the other was sold out. So it's almost 8 o'clock at night and we thought there would be some hotels near the airport but there weren't any. 
So now we're on the complete opposite side of the island with no place to stay and trying to figure something out. Will we find a place to stay for the night? You will have to watch the next episode to find out. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. Bye. Bye. I've been doing this alone.